What if you could wake up every morning knowing that you are financially secure for life? Let's delve into the concept of financial independence, a state of being where money is no longer a source of stress or concern. In today's fast-paced world, achieving this kind of freedom is more important than ever. It's about living a life where you call the shots, where you're not bound by financial constraints or worries. Imagine a life where you are not shackled by financial worries. This is the power of financial independence. But what does financial independence really mean? Well, let's break it down. At its core, financial independence is all about having the resources to live the life you want, without ever needing to punch a clock or answer to a boss again. It's the point at which your assets generate enough income to cover your living expenses. Imagine this, you wake up in the morning and you have two choices, spend your day as you wish or go to work. Now imagine that work is not a necessity for survival, but a choice. That my friends is financial independence. But it's not just about having a pile of money. It's about what that money allows you to do. It's freedom, control and security all rolled into one. It's the ability to make decisions based on what makes you happy and fulfilled, not what makes your wallet heavier. It's about having the means to weather life's storms without losing sleep. Financial independence encompasses several aspects. It's about building sustainable wealth through savings and investments. It's about having a safety net of cash on hand for emergencies. It's about having passive income streams that can cover your lifestyle costs. The aim isn't to accumulate wealth for the sake of wealth, but to create a life where money is a tool, not a master. Being financially independent doesn't necessarily mean you'll never work again. Many people who achieve financial independence choose to continue working because they love what they do. The difference is, they work because they want to, not because they have to. It's also worth noting that financial independence is a journey, not a destination. It's a process that requires planning, discipline, and patience. It's not about getting rich quick, it's about building and sustaining wealth over time. So when we talk about financial independence, we're not just talking about numbers and bank balances, we're talking about freedom, choice, and peace of mind. Financial independence isn't just about having money, it's about having control over your life. So, how does one achieve this coveted state of financial independence? Well, it's not as elusive as it sounds, and it's certainly not a stroke of luck. It's a journey that requires planning, discipline, and a few key steps. Let's start with the first step, creating a budget. A budget is not just about tracking your income and expenses. It's about understanding where your money goes and making conscious decisions about how you want to spend it. A budget is a powerful tool that gives you control over your finances and helps you prioritize your financial goals. The next step is paying off debt. Debt can be a significant roadblock on your path to financial independence. It's like walking up a hill with a heavy backpack. The higher your debt, the heavier your backpack, making it harder to move forward. So start by tackling your debts. Pay off high interest debts first and gradually work your way towards becoming debt free. Building an emergency fund is the third step. Life is unpredictable. An unexpected medical bill or a sudden job loss can derail your financial plans. An emergency fund acts as a safety net, providing you with the financial cushion you need to weather life's uncertainties without going into debt. Investing wisely is the fourth step. Investing is not about getting rich quick. It's about growing your wealth over time. Start by understanding your risk tolerance and investment goals. Then, diversify your investments across different asset classes to spread the risk and maximize returns. Lastly, creating multiple income streams. Don't rely on a single source of income. Explore opportunities to earn extra income. This could be anything from a part-time job, freelancing, or starting a side business. Multiple income streams not only increase your earning potential, but also provide you with financial security. Remember, the path to financial independence is a journey, not a destination. It's about making consistent progress towards your financial goals. It's about making smart financial decisions today that will pay off in the future. It's about taking control of your finances and creating a life of financial peace and freedom. Before we delve deeper, take a moment to subscribe to our channel for more insights on achieving financial independence. By doing so, you're ensuring that you won't miss out on any of our valuable content. Thank you for subscribing. Now, let's continue on our journey to financial independence. Did you know that financial education is your best weapon in the quest for financial independence? Let's dive in. Financial education is the cornerstone of financial independence. It's the compass that guides us through the intricate world of finance. 
Without it, we may find ourselves lost, navigating through a labyrinth of complex financial concepts and terminologies. Financial education begins with understanding basic financial concepts. It's about grasping how money works, from the simple act of saving to the complex world of investing. It's about understanding interest rates, inflation, and the time value of money. It's about knowing the difference between assets and liabilities, between risk and reward. But financial education doesn't stop there. It's about staying informed about the economy, both at a national and global level. It's about understanding how economic indicators like GDP, unemployment rates, and inflation rates can impact your financial health. It's about recognizing market trends and knowing when to make strategic financial decisions. Moreover, financial education involves learning about investment opportunities. It's about understanding the stock market, real estate, mutual funds, bonds, and other investment vehicles. It's about knowing where to put your money to make it work for you. It's about learning to diversify your investments to spread risk and maximize potential returns. However, remember, financial education is not just about accumulating knowledge. It's about applying that knowledge to your everyday life. It's about making informed financial decisions that align with your financial goals. It's about planning for the future, whether that means saving for retirement, investing in your child's education, or buying a home. In essence, financial education is about empowering yourself. It's about taking control of your financial future. It's about building a solid foundation for financial independence. And remember, it's never too late to start. With the plethora of resources available today, from books and online courses to financial advisors and seminars, there's no excuse not to educate yourself. In conclusion, financial education is not just about knowledge. It's about empowering yourself to take control of your financial future. Can discipline and patience really make you financially independent? It may sound like a rhetorical question, but you'd be surprised how much these two virtues play a significant role in achieving financial independence. First, let's talk about discipline. In the realm of personal finance, discipline is the ability to control your spending habits, to resist the allure of instant gratification, and to consistently set aside a portion of your income for savings and investments. It's the virtue that enables you to say no to that tempting purchase or yes to that slightly uncomfortable budget cut. But why is this important? Because without discipline, it's easy to fall into the trap of living paycheck to paycheck, spending every dime you earn, and never really getting ahead. Discipline is the cornerstone of financial independence because it allows you to build wealth over time rather than simply spending it as soon as you earn it. Next, let's discuss patience. In the world of investing, patience is the ability to understand and accept that building wealth is a long-term endeavor. It's the virtue that keeps you from panic selling when the market dips or from jumping on the bandwagon of the latest investment fad. Patience is crucial because the journey to financial independence is not a sprint, but a marathon. It takes time for investments to grow, for compounding to work its magic and for wealth to accumulate. It's about understanding that the path to financial independence is a slow and steady one and that the rewards are worth the wait. But most importantly, discipline and patience work hand in hand. Discipline keeps you on track, while patience keeps you in the game. Together, they help you avoid impulsive decisions that could derail your financial plans and keep you focused on your long-term goals. So, can discipline and patience really make you financially independent? Absolutely. They may not be the most glamorous or exciting aspects of personal finance, but they are undeniably vital. Discipline and patience are the silent warriors in the battle for financial independence. We would love to hear your thoughts on financial independence. Perhaps you've gleaned some wisdom from your own journey, or maybe you've got a hot tip that's been a game changer. So don't be shy, drop a comment below. Your journey towards financial independence could inspire others. As we come to the end of this enlightening journey, let's summarize what we've learned. Financial independence isn't just about having money in the bank, it's about having the freedom to make choices and live life on your own terms. It's about setting financial goals and laying out a path to achieve them. We've learned that the first step on this path is financial education. Without understanding the basics of money management, investing, and financial planning, we're like sailors without a compass. And let's not forget about the role of discipline and patience. These virtues are essential to staying the course and not getting distracted by the shiny objects that might lead us astray. The path to financial independence isn't always smooth, but with education, discipline, and patience, we can navigate the bumps along the way. Remember, financial independence is not a dream. 
It's a journey that begins with a single step. Now that you're equipped with the knowledge, are you ready to embark on your journey to financial independence? Start implementing these steps today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to share it with others. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Here's to your financial independence.